Hey everyone, Cassandra Brooks here, your AmiClubber.com spokesmodel. We've received lots of comments. You girls want to know how to pose for pictures. So whether you need to know how to pose because you're modeling or you just want to feel like a model and you're out taking pictures with your friends, I'm going to show you the best ways to just come across photogenic, really flattering angles, just, you know, the do's and don'ts of taking pictures. First and foremost, you want to act natural. Try to avoid the drunk MySpace face the kissy face, the tongue out. This is definitely overdone and not really the best look for anyone. To find your best look, take some test pics at home. Our brains process symmetrical faces as beautiful and since most people are not 100% symmetrical, nine times out of 10, slightly angling your face to one side will make it appear more symmetrical and in turn, it will be more flattering. Take Paris Hilton for instance. She has one eye that is larger than the other eye. So by posing with her smaller eye closest to the camera, it balances out her unproportioned eyes and makes them look symmetrical. Keep this in mind when you're choosing your good side. You are also going to want to practice your smile. A smile is one of the best things that you can wear, so wear it with confidence. Forced or unsure smiles just look weird. You want your smile to appear natural, so find several smiles that you like and keep them in your smile arsenal for later. Forcing one type of smile all night can be boring. You're going to want to switch it up. And if you throw out a smile there that just didn't really look right, take a mental note not to do that again and just untag yourself on Facebook. <laughs> Don't forget to smile with your eyes. This projects happiness and beauty. The term smiles was coined by supermodel Tyra Banks. To achieve this look, pretend that the camera is actually a person that you have a crush on. Practice this in the mirror so you can do it on demand. Not even celebrities look good in every picture they take, so don't dwell on the bad ones. Just continue to take pictures and sooner or later you'll find your sweet spot. Practice makes perfect. Something else you should practice is your pose. Always stand up straight, shoulders back, chest out, and gently suck in. If you stand, arms by your side, legs straight together, you look your widest and tend to be very boxy. So you can create curves by crossing your legs or simply by popping your weight onto one leg. Putting your hands on your hips to find your waist and it craves more curves for the eyes to look at. Just like with your face, it is flattering to slightly angle your body away from the camera. This is slimming and it's interesting to look at. To mimic a long neck or to simply avoid that double chin look, not cute, just pull your head slightly forward, kind of like you're reaching for the camera with your face. A purse or a drink can be a great slimming accessory. You can hide belly bulge with a strategically held purse, like Gwyneth Paltrow when she was trying to hide her baby bump. Or you can reduce the appearance of arm flab by simply holding a drink away from your body, which will stretch out your arm and make it look slimmer. Keep in mind that the closest body part to the camera will appear the largest. Fake tans can be your friend. They help you look and feel skinnier, but stay away from that orange tanorexic look. A little self tanner goes a long way, so use with caution. Once you've nailed your smile and your pose, you can get extra help from your wardrobe. These next items are universally flattering. The bandage dress. It's like built-in Spanx. Vertical stripes. They elongate your body. Nude pumps. Lengthen those legs so they look like they go on for miles. Solid color outfits. Wearing one color from head to toe makes you look a lot thinner and longer. Strategically printed dresses. These can mimic curves. So hopefully you picked up a few tips from this video that will have you on your way to loving every picture you take.